So, that kind of stiffness which is offered or resistance in fact offered by the ball joint is not considered in the derivation. Having said this let us now derive the stiffness coefficients change in tension in tethers due to unit displacements is given by let us say delta T i and i is equal to 1, 2 to 9 can be equal to axial stiffness change in length x a square minus l square the whole root minus l where unit displacement is given in ith degree of freedom. Now, let us say the deck is supported by the ball joint. which in turn connects to the buoyant leg which in turn is connected or anchored to the seabed and this becomes my mean sea level. Undergoes a surge displacement which is indicated here there is going to be a change in tension which is T 0 plus delta T i So, now k 1 1 will be T 0 plus delta T i or T 1 by the new length x 1 square plus l square root there will be 3 such legs where triceratops has 3 legs equation number k 2 1 will be 0 due to unit displacement offered only in such degree of freedom. Since k 2 1 is 0 k 4 1 will also be 0 since k 2 1 is 0 k 3 1 will be given by T 0 plus delta T 1 of cos theta 1. So, this is angle is theta 1 cos theta 1 minus 3 T 0 and 3 divided by root of x 1 square plus L square minus L of cos theta 1. let us see equation 3 k 5 1 will be k 1 1 into h bar with a negative sign negative sign indicates the restoring moment is offered in opposite direction to that of surge displacement. 
So, that is the recentering moment ok. K 6 1 will be 0 because yaw motion is not activated. Now, interestingly K 7 1 and K 9 1 that is roll in the deck due to surge in buoyant leg ok or yaw in the deck due to surge in the buoyant leg will be 0. K 8 1 will be present which can be computed as K 8 1 into theta 8 1 will be equal to K n 1 1 of H C G minus H bar into x 1 minus k 3 1 of root of x 1 square plus l square minus l of x 1. This equation is 4. So, now we have the first column derived of this difference matrix. Similarly, we can also do for the sway degree of freedom k 1 2 will be 0 because unit displacement is given in sway degree of freedom k 2 2 similar to 1 1 will be T 0 plus delta T 2 divided by root of x 2 square plus l square into 3 times ok. Say this is equation 5 k 3 2 will be T 0 plus delta T 2 of cos theta 2 3 times minus 3 T 0 by root of x 2 square plus l square minus l of cos theta 2 k 4 2 will be minus k 2 2 into h bar k 5 2 will be 0 because k 1 2 is 0. Friends please note surge invokes roll sway sway invokes roll ok. So, this is when surge is absent pitch is also absent similarly when sway is absent roll is also absent. So, k 5 2 is 0 k 6 2 is 0 since no yaw motion k 7 2 into theta 7 2 will be given by k 2 2 h c g minus h bar of x 2 minus k 3 2 root of x 2 square plus l square minus l of x 2 <coughs> equation number this is 7 this is 8. Now, interestingly theta 7 2 simply is tan inverse of 
root of x 2 square plus l square minus l by x 2. By that logic theta 8 1 can also be said as tan inverse of x 1 square plus l square root minus l by x 1 okay, 4 here k 8 2 and k 9 2 will be 0 because there is no transfer of rotation from the leg to the deck. Let us talk about stiffness coefficients in heave degree of freedom. K 1 3 will be 0 because unit displacement is offered in heave degree by that logic k 2 3 will also be 0 k 3 3 will be actually equal to the axial stiffness of all the legs plus rho w g of a w p which is now the equation 10 k 4 3 k 5 3 k 6 3 k 7 3 k 8 3 and k 9 3 will be all 0 because no transfer of rotation due to ball joint. Let us talk about coefficients in roll degree of freedom. K 1 4 will be 0 because unit rotation is offered in roll degree k 2 4 will be t 0 plus delta t 4 divided by square root of s w d square plus l square of 3 times we call this equation number 11 where s w d is h c g minus h bar of sin theta 4 equation 12. Interestingly please note sway in the deck is possible due to roll in the buoyant leg. Please understand ball joints only restrict transfer of rotations, but sway is a displacement. So, sway is transferred to the deck and buoyant leg vice versa. So, delta T 4 which is change in tension because of roll degree of freedom is given by A e by L P L by 2 cos theta 4 of theta 4 is also same as before theta. So, let us call this as equation number 13, where in a tricer atop with a triangular deck, this being three legs, this being the wave direction, this dimension 
is P B and this dimension is P L and this is my x axis. So, I am talking about rotation about this axis. So, P L okay, will be involved here and we also know that C G lies at P L by 2 and this distance is P B by 3. So, now trying equilibrium of forces in heave direction for unit displacement or rotation in roll degree we get k 3 4 as T 0 plus delta T 4 of cos theta 4 minus 3 T 0 by Z B where equation number 14 can be assigned to this where Z B is H bar minus E 4 by tan theta 4 equation number 14 a. Now, k 4 4 theta 4 can be said as buoyancy of E 4 plus T 0 plus delta T 4 of S 1 minus E 4 plus T 0 plus delta T 4 of S 2 plus E 4 minus W deck into S W D E 4 is H bar sin theta 4, S 1 is P L by 2 plus E 4 and S 2 is P L by 2 minus E 4. S W T anyway we said it is H C G minus H bar of sin theta 4. Let us also insert one more expression Z T which is H C G minus H bar minus S W D by tan theta 4. Call all these equations as 15. K 5 4 will be 0 because unit rotation in roll is not affecting of buoyant leg k 6 4 is 0 due to non sway sorry due to no yaw motion K 7 4 into theta 7 4 will be K 2 4 into S W D H C G minus H bar minus K 3 4 of P B by 3 of Z B call this equation number 16. this is only due to so friends k 5 4 will be 0 this is because of the reason that unit rotation given in roll degree of freedom does not affect pitch of the buoyant leg okay unit rotation given in roll degree of freedom does not affect pitch degree of freedom of the buoyant leg similarly 
k640 because there is no yaw motion in the buoyant leg. Now, one can estimate k74 which can be given by equation 16 which is k74 is given by the equation as you see here. It arises from two components one is because of k24 and other is because of k34. Please note that these components are only due to transfer of translational responses. You know 2 and 3 are the translational responses, 4 of course is a rotation given to estimate the stiffness coefficient because of unit rotation in the roll degree in the buoyant leg. So, by simplifying equation 16 we can get k 7 4 provided theta 7 4 is given by this expression shown in equation 17. k 8 4 and k 9 4 will be 0 because there is no transfer of rotation to the deck from the buoyant leg. Friends please note that 8 and 9 are degrees of freedom of the deck. Now, the buoyant legs are 6 degrees of freedom 1 to 6 and 7, 8, 9 are degrees of freedom of the deck. So, 8 and 9 has no responses on the deck due to rotation given in the buoyant leg because the ball joints do not transfer this. So, K 7 4, K 8 4 and K 9 4 which arise because of rotation from the buoyant leg is kept as 0. Then one may ask me a question how do we get K 7 4 when there is no transfer of rotation. Please note K 2 4 and K 3 4 are translational responses of the buoyant leg due to unit rotation given in the buoyant leg and translation responses are transferred therefore, K 7 4 is active. So, friends we will derive the coefficient of pitch degree of freedom and further in the next lecture. Let us look at the summary. We have learnt that the structural action of a new generation platform by name Triceratop is highly innovative. Triceratop has 9 degrees of freedom, 6 degrees of freedom for the buoyant leg, 3 rotations and 3 translations about the respective axis x, y and z. And of course, the deck has additional 3 degrees of freedom which are all the translations and no rotations are transferred to the deck. So, I should say no rotations are transferred therefore, they are ideally rotations of the deck alone. So, I should write here rotations of the deck alone which will be independent of the rotation of the buoyant leg. We have learnt also that action of ball joint restrains transfer of rotation from the buoyant legs to the deck and therefore, deck is partially isolated. So, triceratop derives advantages of T third construction from that of a TLP and a deep draft construction of the buoyant legs from the of a spa. So, it is an hybrid new innovative new generation platform for which we are trying to derive the stiffness coefficients to form the stiffness matrix from the first principles which can be aided by computer methods. Thank you. Mm -hmm.